When traveling to Siem Reap, the trip might be a bit incomplete to not pay a visit to the Kampung Kedai Bridge, the longest ancient bridge in the province along National Road 6. When traveling from Phnom Penh to Siem Reap, along that national road, at the location of the Kampung Kedai Market, travelers can see the old national road on the right-hand side. This older road will lead to the designated infrastructure. This bridge, utilized by the ancestors from the deep past, is situated in the district of Chikrai, about 60 kilometers away from the provincial city of Simrib. People usually call this bridge simply by its local name as Spien Ni or Spien Kampung Kedai. However, based on the documents by Etienne Aimonier, a French linguist in the 1900s, the Kampung Kedai Bridge also has other two names, which are Spien Prehtu and Spien Prapte. On the other hand, some argue that this very bridge should be called Prehtu Bridge due to the inscription made on the infrastructure. The term Prehtu is referred to as the prime direction or eastern direction. Coincidentally, there is a pagoda on the southeastern side of the bridge, about 500 meters away, which also goes by the name Prehtu as well. However, as of today, the pagoda has changed its name to Bopetu Saram Pagoda or the Kumpung Kedai Pagoda. What is more compelling is that the Pretu Bridge or Kumpung Kedai Bridge connects Simrib City with other provinces on the southeastern side of the country. One can visit further provinces by crossing the bridge overseeing the Chikrang stream below. Dimensionally, the bridge is 86 meters long, 16 meters wide, and 10 meters high if measured from the bottom of the stream. In addition, there are 20 pillars and 21 culverts. As thousands of years pass by, this laterite infrastructure is still long-lasting, with its detailed naga handrails, decorations, and the four cornerstones made from sandstones. It is surprising to see how outstanding the construction could be from the time it was built around the Bayuan period as analyzed from the sculptures, the handrails, as well as the cornerstones. Unfortunately, this mighty infrastructure must undergo repairs as well for sustainability, despite the fact that it has been a warrior against time and erosion for so many centuries. The first renovation was conducted by French School of the Far East or EFEO in 1925. This project successfully managed to restore the four Naga heads properly on the original stands. The Ministry of Public Work and Transport, with the assistance of EFEO, led the second procedure, which took place between 1965 and 1967. Unfortunately, the second project was halfway complete. Only the northern side of the bridge was repaired. A pillar of concrete was poured in front of the old pillar, and additional laterite stones were installed and covered. Furthermore, applying a concrete layer at the top was also halfway completed since a new and much more modern bridge was created for daily transportation the ancient Kampung Kedai bridge is available only for passengers and lightweight vehicles such as motorbikes and bicycles 